let's get back into Death Stranding. Um, we have... Like, I've got halfway through the um, the kind of the mission that was set off at the end of, what was it, Tuesday's stream. Uh, we got as far as, um, what was it, the geologist. We had some chiral gubbins that we had to drop off there. The next step is to deliver a bomb, isn't it? Um, I believe to the paleontologist. Um, we may well have to go back through the BTs that we have only just saw. We'll have to check the weather to do that. Anyway, let's get stuck in and, uh, and, and figure out our next move. Geologist. There's that bomb, look, there it is. Some dropped cargo has been delivered, that's good. Thank you very much, everybody. I should ha uh, have, a, have a little look at the uh, cargo situation at the moment, just to remind myself what's going on. So uh, a little bit of container repair spray on the back, sticky gun, bowler gun. Anything on the clip here? Nothing on the clip. All stocked up there, all stocked up there. These these power gloves wear out quick. Um, everything else is doing okay. There's the antimatter bomb, currently in excellent condition. We've got a bit of a journey to take. I, I'm not sure, not sure if I'm going to need to carry anything else with me, I suppose. There is the potential of um, taking, is there anything in the private locker or do I have to um, fabricate it? It's a level two climbing anchor, wasn't it? Um, not sure what, not sure if that's going to be something I need. It will be a bit tricky to deal with it if I'm also having to deal with um, a, a, a bomb and a floating carrier. I guess, I guess there's also, uh, also, what am I talking about? There's some stuff. People have been using zip lines. Yes, man. Uh, 1,391 likes from other players. And uh, while we're in the, uh, in the kind of the planning phase, High Level has requested that I stick on the thinking cap. So here it is. Um, let's have a look at the terrain ahead of us. To go back the way we came. It seemed to be the smarter choice than maybe trying to get down here. This looks pretty rough. So like, what route do I want to take here, right? I could go back here and then down this way. Are they in, um, oh, hello. There's a high level zip line, everybody. Um, I, th I think it's, it's potentially the intent It's potentially the intent of the game design, right? That the player comes around this way and then there's BTs and then there's a whiteout and they're thinking, the player's thinking, screw that. I'm not going back that way. What other route is there? And that the game would like the player to come down this way. And it seems that There are a lot of online tools that await. If we were to do that.
I mean, we we'd have to we'd have to look it out. But potentially, potentially down this way and then across could be interesting. The other route that I was thinking of was going back the way we came and then sort of tumbling. Well, not actually tumbling because of the bomb, right? But <laughs> coming down, coming down here and then sort of around the side of these rocks to get us about here. I expect that'll be steep and slippy. It just, yeah, it's, what do I fancy doing? That's the question. There's also the possibility of, of not going back up there, but sort of shortcutting through here a little bit. It just doesn't seem quite as vicious is some of this stuff, but could be on a hiding to nothing. I don't know. I guess the only real way I'm going to know is actually getting out there and looking at it properly. So let's take one of these with us. I think everything else was okay though, wasn't it? So I just put that maybe on the tool rack. Uh, container repair spray, sticking on bowler gun, PCC should we need them, climbing anchor now on the side, spare boots. Yeah, I mean, we're as set as we're going to be here. Thank you for pointing out, high level, that I hadn't turned up the uh, game audio. Okay. Go over this bridge. Hello. See you. This, there'll, there'll be almost permanent snow here, right? Oh yeah, for sure. There's like a little narrow corridor there. Just a little corridor from Veteran Porter <laughs> to Paleontologist, which seems to be not quite as hefty on the snow front there, but um, yeah, I, I mean our entire route down there is going to be full of powder. Fouls. And the strands. How uh, how far they reach? Let's go and grab these crystals while we're here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, she zipline. 
Ooh, it's very rocky. Very rocky. Where are we now? Yeah, we're kind of doing it already, aren't we? We're kind of looking around this area. Come with me, bomb! Noony noony noo. Oh, I'm stuck on something there. It's quite windy around here though, isn't it? Steady. That's a big one. Let's have a look over here. Hmm. Yep, we can do that. I think we're going to get a nice view from up here, right? Yes. I sure like getting crystals. Oh, okay. Still some way to go yet. That's okay. That's a big one. Let's take some chemicals and we'll give it to our friends when we arrive. Scoopy scoop scoop. <laughs> Aha! Hello, hologram. So, that's a little friendly indication we're heading off in the right direction. Where are we now? Keep coming up. Can be done though. Just a bit like a staircase. Bit of time, bit of patience. <laughs> Haven't run into that sign slash hologram ever. Aha! There are still things to be discovered. Let's go get those crystals there, shall we? Let's 
scoop it. There we go. Quick cargo check. Whoa, okay, yeah. Let's give you a spray, shall we? Okay. Next challenge. Whoa. How are we doing here? Kind of want to come over to the right here, don't we? Right, let's plot a course. Might be slightly around and down. Don't know how realistic that will be, but um, that at least gives me somewhere to aim for. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Over here. Let's do it. May I ask, high level, what led you to Jordan? Hey, emails. There we go. Those power gloves. Really vulnerable. Okay, yeah, this is steep. We'll take it easy. Like I said, we'll take it easy. Oh yeah. Is that um that might be a touch on the steep side there, right? Let's come around here a little. Stop on these rocks and take a breath and look at the next spot. I need to stretch. I can feel my right arm, my right arm, my left arm tensing. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I got to stretch twice. Thank you, Gilly fam. It's just because of the shoulder thing, sometimes it really just. Can't really describe it in words, so I have to use a sound effect instead. High level. Yeah, you, you, your mum's health. Dad's getting on in years. Starting your own family or helping your own. Yeah. Definitely the kind of decision that's that that will um, take some searching for sure. It won't be the only decision. It won't be the last decision. But it's the decision for now. I can respect that. Well. Guess what's going to have to happen. As much as I would love to share this music with you. 
I'll have to turn it down. Um, right, so... Aptly titled Patience, this song, which um, I think this descent certainly requires. Stop and uh, recover for a moment. And we'll keep moving. Wow, something for the roboticist. Right. Okay, so that's, um, that's starting to look kind of steep. may start getting a bit difficult. Let's have a look here. That was lucky. We could have had an explosion on our hands then. Right. Um... So, at this point, I can't, I can't see, uh, can't see a way of getting through here on foot. So, as High Level says, we're now in a situation where a climbing anchor is going to need to be deployed. Let's go back over here. Not that far away. We've got like a hundred meters to go. This would seem to be more genteel. Let's take a look here. Yeah, the other option would be to try and follow the the rock face kind of around the side here. But this actually seems to be the the nicest spot if we were to drop a drop an anchor. Oh yeah, I'm aware the the bomb will have to go on my back if I if I take the um take the anchor uh, anchor down, which I think I'll do here. Oh, someone else has used my zip line. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Right. Too steep. It's having a pop that I've got cargo. Maybe I'll have to disconnect from that. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. You can sit there for a moment. to connect to it first before I can do that. Oi. Don't go punching bombs, please. There we go. Right. Um, now let's manage the cargo. I tell you what, we'll give that another spray first, shall we?
Yeah, good job. Right. Okay, so. Yeah, da 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 da. Bomb on the back, please. Nice, nice. Um. <clears throat> And this other stuff. I mean, you're kind of all going to have to go on my back, aren't you? There's, there's no other way of, no other way of doing this. It's going to get tricky. You ready, Sam? Here we go. Yeah, I think we're good from here, so we will redeploy. Hello? Oh, drop. And attack. No, not that rope! That's it. Alright, Sam. Um, there we go, that'll do, that's fine. Happy now? Let's go. So the end of snow is close. Ah, our first um, lost cargo for veteran porter. That's exciting. There we go. Still quite misty. But this here is a whole new world for us. Well, for me anyway. Not for some people who are more familiar with the game than I am. Here we go. That was very much man versus terrain. I was quite happy with that. I saw this uh, lost cargo just lying around. Would you like that returned? Freebies. No, oh, you're right, they're not lost, are they? Oh well. I guess it's free stuff. Let's introduce ourselves.
antimatter bomb for the paleontologist can be delivered. Plan to get rid of this thing. Coffee's going to be a bit cold, but uh, you know, drink it anyway. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks oh, to already. you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Uh, watch the VOD. Okay, here we go. Stat time, people. Look at that. Pristine condition. Yeah, you know, we took we took a while to get there, that's fine. Uh, Bridges has provided me uh, the, the song I just listened to. Thanks, Bridges. One star, two and a half, just over. That seems to be our standard, doesn't it? Um, right then, here we go. Cargo condition... Little bits and bobs there. Ah, bridge link. Yes, please. Porter grade is now 278. A great courier. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Can I? Thanks for the permission. Let's whip out the cupid and get this done. Rumble, 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 rumble. Shablams. I think it's done. Yes, man. Here we go. New strand established. Paleontologist has joined the UCA. Could have smiled. Ah. That would explain things. <laughs> An oxygen mask is uh, something we can use. Whoa! I was wondering if there would ever be another level, or a higher level, you could say, to the hematic grenades. Apparently there is. There's a level 2 hematic grenade now, which uh, we can fabricate. I'm going to expect we'll need to use that where we're going. Interview data. And uh, an absolute... Well, yeah, there we go. Look, there's some... Um, Signs just to the southwest saying, You're gonna choke, pal! You're gonna choke. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. Of course. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. Is he a veteran? 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. Oh, yeah. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. What? An umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Sure. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. It's a bit harsh. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest. Well, where I can't breathe. Toxic gases have a tendency to build mm -hmm. up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. You like to ask other people to do stuff, don't you? I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Well, can I now? Hello. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an 
Ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is in comes to its own rope, you could swing it around. Million years old. It would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction. Another one of the big five. Oh yes. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. Sure, sure. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that Ammonite being lost. I think they want me to do something. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for what do you think? information. More people using the zip line. Which zip line? Which one's getting all the likes here? Can I find out? Hmm. Can I tell which one? Is it like one of these over here? Doesn't doesn't say the likes though, does it? Yeah. I wanna know. Guess I'll never find out. Uh. Boy. It's a uh, <laughs> busy old area around here, isn't it? Um Risk of uh, avalanches and uh what's that, a barcode? No, entry prohibited. Thought there was uh, maybe a family mart or a 7-Eleven there. Um, oh, that's that's interesting. So it would appear that there were climbing anchors that would have been placed not by me by the paleontologist, should the player have decided to come down a particular route. They would have been given a helping hand. Quite a few local zip lines around here, which is nice. All right, then we go off in this direction. And this is the Vogue stuff. That was briefly encountered down here. There was a memory chip down here. I just managed to get in and out without choking. So I expect over here, it's going to take a lot longer to get through whatever that is. Also, a snail lives there, so I'll watch out for that. Safe house, that's useful. And a watchtower. Good stuff. So that's that's where we're heading. Not too far away, thankfully. Let's have a look. What else is going on over here then? Um, there's going to be um, another prepper somewhere around this area, I expect. And then we get to a lot of a lot of open ground here. There's going to be there's going to be tea mules around, right? I wonder where they live. They're going to be buried around here somewhere, right? Ah, hello. That's probably you. Ooh, so much to look at. So much to look at. Cool. Let's activate this terminal and uh, see if you want some of this stuff that I picked up. Both go in? Yes. Okay. I'll tell you what, you can have some crystals as well. Would you like some? Picked up loads. There were these uh these these uh, BTs that were on fire and then they, they left you loads when you cut their cords, it was pretty cool. Hope I don't get on the wrong end of one.
Thanks. Right. So. Here we go. That's our recovery mission then. Get in there, pick up the stuff. Small, medium, large, potentially just all goes on the back. Get some freebies to take with us as well. Okay. Right, let's see. What, um, before we do that... Let's get in here and uh, maybe consider what we need to take with us. Sticky gun, polar gun, PCCs are always handy. Container repair spray with another one on the clip. Which, um, we'll offload that. That can be recycled. Uh, spare boots, grenades, pod bags of course. PCC thermal starting to become redundant actually the way we're going but I'll hang on to it for now because I don't know whether I'll be going back up in the mountains yet right so we'll just hang on to that for now um, chemicals will offload that that's another thing that we can sort out floating carrier if I'm going to come back here anyway might as well put that in the private locker um So that may be as light as I will be travelling for a little bit. Guess we'll see. Oh, high level, you've hosted me. Thank you very much. Sorry it took me so long to to, uh, to notice that. It was some 20 minutes ago. Great streamer, this one. Um, there we go, let's drop that in. Watco is here. Hello, Watco. Happy Sunday <clears throat> to you. Hope you're all right. <laughs> I had a big, big old chat at the top of the top of the stream. You would have loved it, I'm sure. Um, right, so deal with the fabricate thing. I get some freebies, so I don't have to worry about fabricating anything at the moment. Um, I think my concern is I'm probably not travelling light enough to pick up the things I want to pick up. I may have to travel even lighter for this. What is in here? Laura Lost Cargo. Another thermal pad. Some special alloys. Roboticist stuff. Film director? Wow. Uh, do, 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 do. Mountain knot. None of it particularly local. This one for Hartman. Er, 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 er. Private locker. Private locker, private locker, private locker. Let's say we put the bowler back on the tool rack there. The PCC that is on the back could go on the suit. On the hip. And then there is room on the back for the other things that I'm going to pick up. That might be so bad. Okay, no, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Right, okay, so uh da 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 da. Uh, we max out on the chemicals there. So actually, maybe that can... No, 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 no. We'll... We can max out and make a bigger uh, withdrawal if we wanted to. Let's just do that. It's fine. If we max out, we max out. How how has your weekend been, Watco? Hope it's been a good one. Delivering cargo. Da, 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 bum, bum. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Right. Okay. Now we'll take on this order. So first of all, I'll add this to my notes because I, I, I like to know what's going on. Okay, so this is paleo to paleo. 
And this is going to be recovery. Ammonites. Shall we listen to that briefing? We need you to track down some cargo that was lost en route and deliver it to our paleontologist. Can do. As you know, this shipment contained a 200 million... You're going to tell me anyway, right? Ammonite, ...which looked almost alive, if the finder's account is to be believed. I won't even comment on the part about it having an umbilical cord. <sighs> Look, maybe he's right, maybe he's wrong, but it merits further investigation regardless. Hmm. Make sure you collect the entire shipment so that we don't miss anything by mistake. It's All right. Work, but it's also the only way to make sure we recover that ammonite. Can do. Okay. So... Less than 50% on the cargo condition. All of it needs to be recovered. That's fine. We can recover it all. And we get some gifts. Uh, ladders and climbing anchors. I am carrying some climbing anchors anyway. Maybe I won't need to take them all on. Oh, do tell me again. Mask, huh? Yes. Good idea. Isn't it? It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. Oh, that's how they work, is it? In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd oh. tell you to keep it on the whole time. Oh. But it does, so don't. Might need to find a generator, because... Um... I did notice that I was a little bit low on reserves, battery speaking. So, yeah. So I don't need to fabricate it. There's one in supply, so I'll be able to draw that out anyway. Hematic grenade. Is there not information you're going to tell me about that? Oh, if I selected it, it will. It's improved. Uh, the ability to decide how much blood to use enables precise control over effect length. Okay, so it's customizable. Oh, okay, so it can take more. Hmm. Let's take one just in case. Woo! Look at that. Uh, my otter, my otter hood isn't there now. Space man. What happens if I attach it to the suit? Is that added somewhere, or, uh, or or what happens there? I guess I should wear it anyway, right? There we go, looking badass. If that goes in the grenade pouch. It's going to replace one of the others that's in there. And there's the ladders and the anchors. Okay, so if you offloaded the yes, right, private locker that one, please. Thanks very much. Um, bup, 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 bup. goodness me, the state of that backpack there. Um, four anchors left, so I don't think I'm going to need to take any of those climbing anchors. Um. What about ladders? Just a uh, just in case. Are we, are we thinking maybe one, maybe two? 
Maybe zero. Maybe we can do this with ropes. What's, what's being carried on the suit? Because I could potentially replace something. I think it was... Um, there's the climbing anchor. Two PCCs. The thermal pad. We could replace that with a ladder. For now. Just have, just have uh, uh, one on backup. Cover all eventualities. All right, I think that'll do it. Uh, sticky gun, container repair spray. Then we've got a climb, climbing anchors, fantastic ladder. Probably going to need to make a generator if we can't find one. Bowler gun on the side. Uh, a, a spanking new level two hematic grenade. Um, power gloves. If I don't make them now, I'll need to make them when I come back. No, I think you're okay high level. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, let's go outside and... Oh yeah, look, there it is. Hello there. Right, we'll charge ourselves up there. Ready for business. Look at that. He's trying to warm his hands up, even though um, he's wearing an oxygen mask. So, um, I forgot how that worked. Anyway, let's go get charged up, shall we? And if you'd forgotten to take anything, you could have picked some more up there, I suppose. So, a whole new area to the south of the mountain. Let's get ourselves fully charged up here. Chargey, chargey. That's good. Oh, big old rest spot. Look at that. Very nice. Can have those crypto boats. Thank you very much. Be most gratefully received. There we are. Um, so we've got a safe house. A watchtower. Another oxygen mask. Yeah, I think you got the wrong end of the stick of what I was criticising there, high level. There we go. What I was saying was, he was warming his hands, right? He was wearing his gloves and he was warming his hands by blowing on them, right? As you would normally if you were feeling a bit cold. Except, oxygen mask on. What exactly was he blowing on? He's blowing back in his own face. Because of the mask. I mean, if it makes him feel better. Stuff for the geologist over there. Let's have, let's have a look. What else? It's a, it's a big chemical area. There's some extra stuff there. Right, this is where we're heading to. Hey, there it is. All there. It's not that far away at all, is it? Not that far away at all. Um, let's have a good look around. Zip lines. So even more of a zipline network is going to be built along here. That's going to be a thrill. What's over there then? Some chiral boots. Ooh, yum yum. Very good. Alright, well. There we are. We're going down there. We'll walk around the side. Come around that way a little bit. Stuff for veteran porter. Nice. All right. Now here's a question: Is the oxygen mask something 
yeah, so you can remove it. Okay, that's good. So at the moment, for example, I wouldn't have to wear it. Oh, I can remove the gloves as well. Okay. I've not really paid attention to this. Just wear it. Okay. All right, let's go take a look then. Let's go around the other side. see where these items are. Oh, they're quite deep down there. Okay. Is there a reverse trike down there? Okay, that's quite deep down, isn't it? Right. Two, four, three. So they're all around this area here. Someone's popped an anchor there. I want to put my own down. I want likes. Here we go. Yeah, looks grim down here. Okay, stay in an area filled with VOG and the consciousness gauge will be depleted. Once fully depleted, you're toast. Can we, um, can we pick that up? Thank you. Wouldn't recommend stopping here for a wee. Is that it? Is that the lot? It is, isn't it? Okay. Right. Well. Thanks, Philly. Yeah, I kind of kind of knew that was the case. Let's go up here. Let's have a quick look at this way because it looked like you could pretty much almost get all the way up. You could put a ladder there. That ladder I was carrying, I'm just going to stick it here. Might get likes for it. Why not? Here we go. Come on. Put a ladder there for the people. Yeah. Okay, uh, battery's still okay, so I, so I could do a cheeky wee here. Uh, high level seems to think might as well do it when in Rome, etc. me. Realistic water physics there. Worthwhile uh, just checking that out. Whee! Quite literally. Alright, battery's starting to run low, huh? Let's go. Let's grab that rope. hope I didn't pee on my own rope. 
Up we go. I'm going to use a bit of arm power there. That's uh, that's not great. Very very strong is Sam. Very strong indeed. Uh, can we maybe look the other way. Fine. All right, so let's say at this point. We'll be okay there, won't we? Uh, what else have we got around here then? There's stuff up there. Botticist, geologist, paleontologist. Let's go grab that lost cargo while we're here. Have a bit of that um, delicious energy drink. Couldn't drink another drop. Fine. I guess yeah. we're uh, not really going to fill up our fifth box. Oh hum. Machine oil there. Just paleontologist, that's it. Let's get a sneaky peek just down here and see what's going on. Hello! Hello! Oh, it's like a little corridor. Not giving anything away there, is it? Let's get this stuff for paleontologists. Make their day. A lot of chemicals around here too. Let's get some crystals while we're at it. Ooh, easy. Chemicals? Yeah. Chemical, chemicals, blah, 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 blah. Okay, not really anything I'm going to pick up straight away here. Let's just go straight back to base. Fifth box of stamina is a bonus. Drinking outside your private room will never fill it. Only inside and certain hot springs can do it. Yeah, I've noticed that. Some some of the uh, hot springs will fill that all the way up. We could do with some springs around this way. Hopefully I'll find them. Right, we'll uh, get ourselves another charge from the generator on our way back too. Okay, just a bit further now. Yeah, I know. I can see it. No backseating, Sam. Yeah, it's fully charged. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. It is Sunday after all. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Have you done your homework? It's just water, by the way. It's not a weak lemon drink.
Yeah, that's all you're getting. Huh. Yeah, we've got clearance. Good stuff. Not anything falling off. Special delivery. So, requested cargo, ammonites, all collected, plus the microorganism samples that were uh, also found from the area. So, uh, give me lots of stars and stuff, please. Deliver all five containers. Yes, yes, I will. Delivering cargo. Ticky tick. Um. Ah, you found it. Uh, I mean, let me see. it was on the doorstep. Oh my! It really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. There we go. Stat time. Bless him. He got very excited. Very excited that they were delivered. Uh, all in great condition. If only he knew how close they were. We get uh, some bonus likes for uh, collecting it from the VOG. Uh, Jade Oak. Maths are fun, though. Gotta love a good maths. Hi, Jade. Thanks for uh, checking out the channel. Good to have you here. Um, lots of interview data. I'm going to have to read some of this stuff at some point. How do we do on uh, on the stars here? There we go. There's three. <clears throat> Volcano orange. Three and a bit. There we are. Have some lost cargo. See how you like it. Microorganism samples. Fifty-two. That's going to be the tiniest nudge. There we are. Still two seven eight. Getting a little bit harder to uh, to nudge those numbers up at the moment. Still lots to do out there. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. Yeah. Yes. It did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. <gasps> I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Well done. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one about of about nicotine. Fields. Anyway, I I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evo Devo biologist. Mm -hmm. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Okay. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter, and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is well. why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Equal parts, encouragement, Please access and guilt coming from him there, isn't it? I think. Uh, not there, thank you. Let's, um, what I want to do is remove all markers. Can we do that? There, we can. Thank you. All right, let's take a look in this terminal and uh, see what's going on. We've got orders for Sam and standard orders as well. So, there we go. Tar extraction device and ammonite delivery. Ever a biologist. Some stuff to recover from this area here to take up the mountain to there. Okay. There's bound to be some trouble. Um, what about the standard orders? What's going on here? 
Okay, so there's some stuff that goes back to geologist. More recovery from paleontologist. That's got to be a mule camp recovery, surely. Um, ooh. Insect based foodstuffs. Yum, yum. That's the kind of thing that um, zip lines would really help with. And also, certainly anything that's time sensitive as well. Uh, Jade Oak asking, uh, did uh, did they read us you to being a delivery man? What I'll do is I'll workshop some puns and then I'll I'll, I'll see if I can fit them in. Right right now my mind is blank. Normally they come to me really really quickly. Uh, Adrian C. Black, hello. How are you? That's a name I've not seen in some time. I think I remember you from The Witness, and you were uh, back in The Witness days. <laughs> Let's listen to this briefing, shall we? I think we're going to get in trouble doing this. You won't find what the Evil Devil biologist needs there, Sam. Afraid you'll just have to collect the tar yourself. She initially deployed equipment for this very purpose near BT Hotspot. Oh, BTs, yeah. But after the weather took a turn for the worse, retrieving samples herself ceased to be an option. So it's up to you now to track down all the units and do what she couldn't. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Yeah. Don't forget to bring her that ammonite the paleontologist gave you. Uh, yes. Proceed with the utmost caution, Sam. There's a lot of ways this could go wrong. Gulp. Well, that fills me full of confidence. So here are risks. Timefall, BTs, and, uh, as usual, landscape. So there's that. There's that stuff too. What's on my back? Oh, it's the oxygen mask. Okay. Uh, Adrian Black says, played this game twice, spent maybe 300 hours in total, not to brag. 300 hours? Is that over, is that over both plays? So that's what happens. Don't know if I'll need that. I don't think I do need that, do I? Yes, it is. Okay, you zipped through it then. What are we looking at now? Uh, 150 hours, and this is my sole playthrough, and there's been an awful lot of side questing, which is fine by me. It might frustrate some people who watch, but um, they keep coming back, so I don't know. What, I don't know what I can tell you. All right. I'll have a look around. I just want to have a quick look around before. Um, I'm going to get a bit cold because I don't have my thermal pad. I just want to have a quick look around. Let's climb up here, shall we? There we go. That up there looks like a spot for a zip line. Um, oh yeah. 
There we go. Okay, right, there's a generator. Hmm. What am I looking out to? Yeah, in the direction of Veteran Porter. A little too far away probably to make it out. Nice generator there. That must have been a necessity generator that someone had to put down. Ooh, BT's over there, okay. Someone got brave. I wonder if there's um, more of those uh, balloon BT's hovering around here. It's a possibility, isn't it? to pick up. Is there a clear route down here? Yep. Yeah. Steady. Ah. Not sure. If I were to put a zip line. Where would I put it? It would be a nice close ish spot. Then you'd have a long way to go around. Go around the sides, you could do that, I guess. Here, there's beacons everywhere, so that's no good. Kind of lines the rock. Oh, there's one there anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> I suppose I'll go and look at it then. I've got my zip line brain on, you see. Oh, Timefall Shelter, hello. Oh. See you. Music. Okay, so there is a kind of a route down. Here it's all a bit rough and ready though, isn't it? Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the party. Easy. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I'm just mucking around, don't mind me. There we are. Let's go check out the zip line. Weapons restrictions lifted. Just before I move on, I just kind of, you know, just have a look around. Where do you go? You do go up there. Okay, that's nice. Nothing else we can make out, but at least the, at least there's a route up there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good spot for it, I suppose. I guess I'll go and do this story order. 
Looks like I'm going to have to deal with some BTs though, so I might need to think about what kind of things I need to carry for that. I wonder if I'm going to need uh, the floating carrier this time. Probably. I'm going to end up carrying quite a bit. Hello, it's me again. Well, I mean, I'll stop here if it's alright with you. Um, Adrian says... Does, um, they're not in the game tab, I'm checking. Never rush through games. If there are points still out there, they'll go and take care of them. Yeah, play until until there's not much else to do. I mean, I, I, I think... I think what I've said it to other people, like how much time I've spent in it and how much I still had left to do, because like we're 150 hours in... And um, is it eight? It's episode eight that we're on at the moment, Hartman. And like, oh my God, that sounds like a crazy amount of time. Surely the, the game isn't asking that of you. And I said, no, you could probably get the story stuff done in like 40 hours, but there's so much exploring and so many other things I want to pick up and deliver to people. It, it, it's kind of quite immersive in, in that respect. I like doing it. I like being in that in that world doing doing the little jobs as well as the uh, as, as well as the orders um for sam a high level saying that uh, they uh, he started his channel um with death stranding almost exactly a year ago you'll move on from it soon well not many orders left for you to uh, get legend of legends on is it what three three to go Um, right, okay, so we've listened to the briefing. What are being gifted? Container repair spray. Tar extraction. Small, 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 and a medium. Three left. More power to you. Right. Collect four tar extraction devices and bring them to the Evo Devo biologist in shelter 41-24 along with the Ammonite. Connect the shelter to the chiral network when you are done. Less than 50% damage. Collection from a BT area. Delivery to a mountainous area. Um... Yeah, we'll think about what I might need to carry next. Ah, yes, yes. Um, Adrian asking about the roads. Um, there was um, there was a little bit of work done a couple of weeks ago where I pretty much focused on just finishing off the roads. Um, mainly, I wanted to get that done before the um, pizza delivery to Peter Engler, which runs from Mountain Knot City to his prep station. Just thought a nice clean road makes that a, a real simple old trip. Um, and then there was quite a bit of time. There must have been about a week and a half where I was I was farting around this whole entire area, collecting stuff, building roads, uh, getting the materials I needed, fighting T mules, all that stuff. Oh yeah, having a look over here, <laughs> just just randomly wandering about certain places. All good fun. All good fun. So it, it it's um. It's been quite a moment to get to back to Hartman's lab and to travel south to this whole area. Because um, I, I, I... That... That first visit to Hartman must be a few weeks ago now, I think. Uh, what are we... Oh, crikey, what are we be looking at here? Um, sometime in January, I think. Mid-Jan. Yeah, uh, towards yeah, about a month, about a month ago. About a month ago. Kind of incredible. All good fun though. Loving it. Right. Okay.
being gifted container repair spray, not a bad idea. May need to carry more than one. Maybe there's some time full shelters out there. We will find out. Um, I, I may, I may just take a level one PCC with me as well, so I don't exhaust a two on a generator should I need to make one. I'll review my weaponry situation after this. Uh, Adrian said, uh, it played on launch day both times. It was much easier there as there were a lot of people, plenty of help. Sure thing. Um, I actually got Death Stranding in a bundle with a PS4 Pro more or less around release um, but didn't actually even get the game out of the wrapper and start playing it until uh, on, on, on this stream so we're looking at almost a year <laughs> after it was launched on PS4 I actually started playing it what was it back in September last year I started playing all of it all of it on stream I say all of it there was one afternoon where I was doing some doing some stuff back in the eastern region which I didn't stream just because I wanted to get more places up to five stars um, right let's put all of this stuff on the back for now so there's the ammonites I expect I'll need to take this floating carrier with me, right? Maybe we'll offload that for now and I'll drag it behind me. Um, not gonna... Don't think I'll need the thermal pad. I always make another. Once I get to Evo Devo, right? So... Um, I will take the container repair spray though. What's this bowler gun looking? We'll make a new one. Hmm. How are the boots now? Plenty, plenty in them. Right, power gloves, yes. Right, okay, we'll need to make another set of those. Let's offload those. is pretty much done though isn't it it's looking pretty rough <laughs> uh, Adrian there um, paid full price twice but by the sounds of it you got your your, your, your money's worth um, sticky gun 35% I think that's okay Repair spray. Is that only one? I can go on the back as well. Holding on to that, those two will go away and we'll make new ones. Astral's here. Hello, Astral. Give a shout out to Astral. They're amazing. 
highly recommend checking out Astral's channel and giving them a follow. Okay, let's recycle some things. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Onto the stuff that I dropped off. Not that! Bowler gun and power gloves, please. I'll make some new ones. You're welcome, Astral. Thank you for your continuous. More of that. Um, okay, so we will be making level two bowler gun, please. Um, is it here? Yes, power gloves, please. All good so far, right. Handgun? Ant Anti-BT handgun? I'm going to say yes. I've got some standard hematic grenades and one set of, what was it, five rounds of the level two. And I get to experiment with those. I feel like that's going to be okay. Right, power gloves. Let's wear them. Um, it's all right for the bowler gun. On the back for the anti-PT handgun. Then there's going to be some work with what exactly I want to carry on the um, floating carrier. And then we'll go from there. Right, what's on the suit? Yes, right. There's this other level 2 PCC that's maybe at risk of being damaged, depending how much snow I get caught in. That one's all right. 13. 52, that's, that's dicey, depending how long I'm going to be stuck outside for. Um, that level 1's going to be all right. I'm going to hedge my bets here, and I'm going to recycle that one and make a new one. So, some more fun with menus to come. Um, let's recycle the old one first. Yep, 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 skip, skip, skip. So another level 2 PCC, please. Level 1 PCC, I think we can also put you on the suit. So what's left? Um, excavated ammonites. Two sets of container repair spray. 150, 150. Climbing anchor. Still three left there. Bow gun on the tool rack. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm kind of comfortable with this. Thank you for your contribution. 
so that can come with me. Now, um, Adrian, you were talking about the um, the state of, of my of my back. That is my backpack cover, which has got some significant wear. Um, no container repair spray is going to fix that, unfortunately. Sam's still cold. Do I do I get that thermal pad going? Maybe I do. Stick that back out. Oh, I was standing on it. Okay, fine. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I, we'll, we'll get that thermal pad. That might be sensible. No, it's not fabricate because it's in here. Thermal pad. Right, okay. So that goes onto the suit. You will replace where I'm keeping the oxygen mask. Okay. Oxygen mask. Offload. And we'll deal with that after. Okay, now we're done. Right, okay. Let's deal with... Cargo. Okay, let's say PCC1 onto the carrier. Ah! Rats. I wasn't finished. My oxygen mask can go on the spare spot on the suit. Okay, right. And then stuff on the back. Put that on the carrier. Freeze up a little bit of room on the back. Container repair spray, container repair spray, climbing anchor, sticky gun, anti BT handgun, all covered by the um, rapidly decaying backpack cover for now. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to be as happy with that as I can be. Two sets of container repair spray, I hope, is going to be enough. The next thing I need to do is get dressed. Looking a little untidy there. Sunglasses. Cap. We've already got the harmonica equipped, so that's spot on. Um, don't think I'm going to need the otter hood here. We'll stick it on anyway because it makes a funny noise if it does start snowing. Okay, right, I think I think we can go now. Um, that's a hydrate from Astral. Always appreciate Astral looking out for my well-being. So let's do that. <clears throat> I'll mark that off. Thank you very much for redeeming some engagements there, Astral. <clears throat> oh, God damn, it's cold. Weapons restrictions lifted. You've got a thermal pad, mate. Calm down. <clears throat> right, so I think then we are heading off in. <clears throat> Lots of throat clearing. We're, we're heading off over the snow. I'm coming over here where I think it's going to get proper dicey, isn't it? I'm going to regret this. <clears throat> so it could have gone that way. But I'm going this way. Kind of around there seems to be the way. Yep. Permanent time fall. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Let's uh, let's mark a path out then, shall we? Um.
think it should be pretty obvious from, from that point what needs to happen. Yep, okay, let's do it. Here we go, let's do it. Wow, level 3 non lethal assault rifle, there's a thing to leave behind. Some chat there going on in the chat between Adrian, C Black, and Higher Level about um, the critical response. Um, to Death Stranding. I, I, I noted at the time that it was potentially divisive. I mean, I guess if people weren't expecting to be a postman for the majority of the game and that was a disappointment to them, I suppose they wouldn't look on it kindly. I enjoyed it. When there's a good portion of the game which is just the player versus the landscape, I think that's quite, in video games, it's actually quite unique. I mean, it's a heck of a story around it as well, don't get me wrong, but... Right. Snow, snow. Looks like it's going to be a bit windy here too. Still, we're continuing uh, venturing on into um, undiscovered lands. For me, anyway. Here's a post box. I wonder if there's anything in there that might be useful. Who's this dude? Hey, it's a novelist, son. Seen any good gourds lately, sir? You know? Gourds! You're always going on about. What's in here? Let's have a look. Something for the geologist. Set of bridges boots. Another oxygen mask. PCC level 2. Ah, kind of carrying enough, but it's good to know that that stuff's there. Oh, it was nice chatting. Bye. Whoa, big rainbow. Here we go. Better zip line up there would be pretty neat. Bye bye snow. Some low level uh, low level mist over there. Unless uh, that's Vogue or <laughs> lots of steam from something. Right. Where we're heading to. That's going to be a big bag of hurt, I expect. Oh dear. I can't say I'm the world's biggest fan of multiplayer, right? There are lots of traditional style. Uh, PvP style multiplayers, which I'm not into. 
Um, and, you know, you can cite the usual online versions of games where it's just a bit of a cesspit, and I'm, I'm not into that. Dead by Daylight with friends, though, is excellent, excellent fun. Um, and also, the way that Death Stranding kind of mixes solo play and multiplayer is kind of good. Like, here I am on my solo adventure, feeling very much alone amongst the elements, yet every now and then I'm going to come across something that another player has built. Kind of awesome. Here we go. Time fall, and then there's going to be um, spoopy warnings. It's a bit of snow first, though. Okay. If you insist. Let's uh, okay. have a look here. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, hello. That's uh, that's Mule Camp Beacon, isn't it? That's perilously close then. Where's, where are you? Ah, oh, here we go. Right, okay. Bomp, bomp, bomp. So, there's a... Oh yeah, it's this thing. This thing that I scouted earlier. Okay, right, that makes sense. So any further south, T-Mules. Up this way, BTs. They're quite close together, aren't they? Okay. Man, I was lucky not to get caught out by them then, wasn't I? If I'd gone any further south, I would have been in trouble. I'm not really tooled up to deal with them. Right, and now we've got... Oh my god. It's real deep. Look at this stuff. Old Volcano Observatory, and here comes the rain. Oh, blimey. Yep, yeah, here it is. Right, so... One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah? Okay, so I guess I'll start there and work up that way. I just have to cut whatever cords we find along the way. To be honest, I'm nervous. from the rain here too. Alright, not far from the first one here. Yeah. 
I beg your pardon, what? Stuff for Hartman there. How much of this stuff do I want to pick up? Right, can I get down here okay? Looks kind of steep. Is this the right way? Seems kind of crazy to stick a climbing anchor down here, but I think I'm going to have to do it. Okay, to make this worthwhile, let's go back up. This is way around here. No, it looks kind of ropey. Okay, right. No, okay. All right, here we go. Now we can see you. What what do we got? You two are going to have to deal with this baby there too. Baby. work through this methodically. Please don't. Take a moment. Else we got. Oh my god, they're everywhere. We've got to get that down there. Okay. Let's just come back over here for a moment. Right. Will a sticky gun get me in trouble? Can I sticky gun that? No, it's going to get me in trouble. Fuck me. Oh, 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 you're a big dude. Are you both big dudes? Oh, shoot, you're both big dudes, aren't you? gone. Now it's just the little ones left. Okay, that's fine. You carry on looking over there. Is he gone? He's gone. Okay. Cool. 
right, who's still on the search over here? They'll calm down. Gonna stay up there, aren't you? Nope. Yep. Clear of trouble here because I can pick up those um, hot, delicious crystals. Who else is around? in here for a moment. Take a break. Contain repair. Something on my leg there that was glowing as well. What was that? Is that the oxygen mask container? It might be. What's next? Oh, crystals, yum yum. Okay, so we have that one and that one to grab. I am here. That one's closer. Let's go down. That way and round, maybe I don't know. Let's go. Let's go see what's what. What waits for us over this way? You guys are over there. Oh, you got a little damage on you. You got a little red on you. Right, you'll go. Who else is going to have a look around? See ya.
stay cute. Let's stop briefly. Extraction devices. Oxygen mask taking a lot of damage here. Maybe we just put them all on the carrier and then I can spray them all together, right? So, you, you and you. Where next? Where next? Where next? Where next? I had to go over. There. No, that's Hartman's lab. Where am I going? Over there. Five of five. And we have four. Four out of the five. Okay. Nice. Right. Let's head off in this direction and see what trouble we can get into, huh? Hello, you're close. Thank you. Who else? Right, some people over there. Your pardon? That was some sound. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I can't see you, and that worries me. Stand still for a minute. Let's take stock of where we are. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. You got a cord. No biggie. You're close. Hmm. We'll need to deal with you. There we are. So, just stop again. You're there. Still with you. Right. Where's our route now? We've got everything we need. That's our destination. We just need to get free of this area. That's the exact direction I want to go in. Gotcha. See ya. Right, I'm hoping getting towards the north of where the BTs live. It 
should be able to get past you. Whoop. Come on, that's got to be it. Get me out of here. I'm a Sam Liberty. Get me out of here. <laughs> Terrible. That's got to be it. Wowzers. That's an intense area, isn't it? Goodness me. Yes. Seven likes from Lou. We made it. Someone's happy. Not far at all from our destination, actually. Let's pick that up. Some lost cargo. Grab those crystals there, huh? Actually, now it's uh, stopped raining, we can get a little better view of what's going on around here. Look at this. What an area. What a landscape. Look at those gits over there. I'm not looking forward to meeting them. Thanks, high level. That was pretty tense. Doable, but, um, but tense. Let's just grab these, shall we? There we go. There we go. Right, let's um, let's go make a new friend, and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll try to settle down. But until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Might as well get this as well. Ah, that's the backpack cover gone. I tell you what needs to be here: a watchtower. Right? Where should I put a watchtower? Actually, let's not do that, because if the, um, if, if Evo Devo gets on the network, maybe there'll be a watchtower there and I won't need to build my own. One step at a time. way. Back up in the snow. Come on, let's get this show on the road. I am! All the shows and roads. Oh yeah, you make a good point. Keep forgetting that. I just want to throw PCCs everywhere and forget that there are some places I can't actually build them. Ooh, look at all, look at all that. Spoopies. Right, anything around here I can pick up? Oh yeah, sure, crystals. I mean, I'll get them, but that's not what I meant. Yeah, I'll get you two. There were a couple of those um, Goliaths. I'm glad I encountered one before then. It would have really kicked off if, had I um, set one of those off and hadn't had, uh, hadn't had experience with them before. I bet there's going to be fire ones down there as well at some point. We're here, we made it! Yes, man. Well. <laughs> Everything's got a look of uh, repair spray on it. Yes, it does. Right. I think we're all good. Let's go.
Evodevo biologist. Would you like some cargo? Yes. Okay, here you go then. Here we go. And then we get our juicy stats. And then maybe there'll be a character that wants to say stuff to us. It's all going on. I'm impressed, Sam. Not <laughs> well. many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Not a scratch on it. And the tower inside is safe and secure. You're welcome. You do not disappoint, my friend. Oh, my friend's already. Excellent. Oh, stats. I've got some cargo in that. No damage. Very well taken care of. I'm almost 150 hours in getting the hang of this. <clears throat> that wasn't a bad route, really. A little bit of farting around, around the BTs there, just making sure that everything was going to be safe and sound, but uh, it all makes sense after that, doesn't it? Awesome. 257 likes. How many stars is that? Two and a bit. Porter Grade 278 still. Now, connect me to the chiral network. Yes. That's where my studies will truly begin. And that's where I can find out where the watchtower is. I didn't have to build one. Let's go. Boom. Yes, that's right. A new strand has been established. The Evo Devo biologist has joined the UCA. It's pulling a DreamWorks face there. You know, the DreamWorks face. Uh grenade launcher. Okay. Things are really going to kick off around here then, aren't they? <laughs> oh god. More interviews, lots to read, and uh well, signs galore. Um yep, yeah, yeah I, I I know there are BTs down there. Thank you very much. What else is there? Some no entries. Uh ah uh, oh, good zipline. I wonder who that belongs to. Um Can I see a watchtower there? Not immediately, it could be buried under something else. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, well, they were smokers. and timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. What's uh, wrong with your Some mouth? Environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. Say that again. But there are genes What's which gone? have the opposite effect those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. Sure, sure. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. Including iPhones. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar. Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads in any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. I look forward to it. Well done, Sam. Yes. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. I can't. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. 
I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Now? Operations are finally complete for the chiral relay. Can we go to bed? If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. New order available. Uh, okay. Access delivery terminal for further information. All right, but there's some other stuff I'm carrying here. Would uh, maybe we can do with this? Right, Hartman's lab can stay with me. Right, I'm not going to. Um, I won't entrust that. The engineer will entrust. Because that's just too far, man. So what else am I carrying here? What's um? Ah, uh, pay attention. All right, yeah, lost cargo, medium container, oxygen mask. There's that PCC we were talking about. Okay. Blue bags. Ooh, blimey! Excuse me. Okay. Right, Hartman's lab then. Over in that direction. What do we got here? <gasps> it's not high level zip line. Alright, oh, ladders and stuff there. Okay. Yep. Mule land. Oh, hello. Ooh. Totally missed that spring. Deploying. Wonder if you'll show anything up. Definitely need to find somewhere I can make a backpack cover. That's going to be a uh, safe house, which will need um, uh, materials and stuff. No safe houses around here. Not the safest of places to make one. Time for shelter. season stuff. Okay. Made, made it through without needing to use the anti-BT handgun, which is kind of good. What are the standard orders we've got here then? Uh, roboticist, geologist, paleontologist, recovery from tea mules. Oh man, what a pain in the neck that is, right? Oh, can you just go and get some stuff from some terrorists for me? Oh, by the way, loads of BTs you're going to have to pass through in order to get there. Gee, thanks so much. Um, life fish? Okay. Some some of the some of this stuff, especially the time sensitive stuff, is 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 going to work out better once there's a decent zipline network around here, isn't there? No, I suppose you can go around the BTs, can't you? If you went around this way. Around there. Um, nothing. But the live fish for Hartman's Lab, which I can't guarantee I'm going to get there in 30 minutes. All right, let's have a look at this then. It's a revolver-style grenade launcher, don't you know? 
They can be loaded with four types of ammo, anti-BT hematic rounds, lethal grenade rounds, slip rounds, just like ice puddles and people just like slip on them and go whoop. And then people point and laugh and their egos get bruised. Um, uh, Non-lethal trank rounds, enabling it to be used in a variety of combat situations. I can see why Adrian liked to use it so much. Uh, despite these very... Oh. Just wait for it to cycle around so I can read it. Despite these four very different effects, only one type of ammo is required, lucky, due to the ability to define firing characteristics at the point of launch. I guess I will need that when I go visit the T-Mules. I'm not going to need that if I'm going back to Hartman. Remember, it's not silenced. No, if it's a grenade launcher, I imagine it makes a bit of a sound, yes. Okay, so. Let's just focus on getting back to Hartman. We'll, and we'll do that. Um, <laughs> high level, they're asking Gillyfam um, if they really like the roads. And Gillyfam had earlier asked, have all the possible roads been built? Yes, they have. It's kind of a shame that there aren't any more roads to build, isn't there? Looking at the um, looking at the terrain, though, where we are, it, 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 it's not the easiest place to build a road, is it? Not the clearest of routes, really, for one. It'd have, it'd have to be uh, all bridge. All the way. Right, so um, if I'm going back to Hartman, am I carrying the things that are going to help me get there? Everything's going to get damaged now because my backpack cover is balked. Um, although apparently, the de you know, our destination, our ultimate destination, where we are going, we don't need roads. Um, NTBT handgun, probably not going to need that now. Um, who knows, I'll hang on to it. Um, still got PCCs, taking damage. Everything's taking damage at this point. Uh, I guess, I guess another container repair spray wouldn't go amiss though, would it? Um, 150 and 37, so let's make another one of those. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? There, it's right there. It's right in front of me. Bom, well, let's do that. Confirm. Thank you very much. Uh, just on the back, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Auto arrange. Done. Do I, do I take this fish back? I mean, can I get back in half an hour? Got a lot of, a lot of time for here. No, it wasn't a chilled delivery, I don't think. I think it was just timed. I'll go back and check. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Premium would be within 20. Standard would be within 30. Small containers, so it's not much to carry.
There's going to be some BTs on the way back, though, isn't there? I expect. The only way is up, though. The thing is, right, is that if I was going to take it, I'd want to take it as a premium, and there's no guarantee I can do that another 20. <sighs> Sod it. Come with me. <laughs> it's just, just come with me. We'll see what happens. Don't overthink it. Just come. Right, all of that other stuff can can stay down there, because I'm sure I'll be coming back here at some point. Um, fish, please. Uh, you can go onto the carrier. Let's go. Come on. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Right, which way am I going? Out this way. Up here. Up here where it's proper dangerous. That's kind of what I was looking to do. If I don't get the best score, who cares? The man's getting fish. Right, we'll figure the rest out once we're up there. Let's go. Well, it's a well-trodden path this way. It's a very shallow pond, isn't it? Barely even keep plankton in that thing. Weapons restrictions lifted. Do you know what? Fine. I'll take this. You can go on the thing. Whoop. Boom. Uh, Adrian's off to play some uh, Persona. Good stuff. It's good to have you on board again. Hope to see you again. You are not long range. You will not get me very far, will you? Ooh, watchtower. Oh, I'm against the clock. Stop mucking around. Let's go. There's a doctor marked out there, isn't it? More doctor. Take it easy, Cadbury's caramel. Um, so we make uh, this is this is a walkable. Come on. All right, here we go then. I'm against the clock here. Just pick it up, will you? Here comes the snow. Okay. There might not be any glowing plankton there we go. in the pond. Right, now we had warnings of... Um, falling stuff, so this will be interesting. There you are, okay. Uh, I see you. Bloody typical. Whoa! Oh, 
Come on, Sam. Plonk. At least there's no bomb on it now, huh? Oh boy. Lucky. I don't think we'll be coming this way very much. Hello, zipline. Please rescue me. Ah, musical interlude. How how uh, how useful. Um, right, so there's a zip line here. Are you going to reach anything useful? Will anything magically appear once I uh, get on you? Because if we could at least travel there, there, and then back here, that would be grand. But I just don't see that happening somehow. Mm, okay. Might just be easier to do this on foot. Okay, well, there's music, and you know what happens when uh, when music happens. i got to do a turning down. Right. Um, which way was I heading? That's five minutes gone. I expect that's probably the S ranking lost, but what can you do, huh? Right, what's that over there? Is that, um, that's actually Hartman, I can see. It's quite steep there, isn't it? What's the quicker route here? I have to go through there and over a little bit to do it. Might might be might be the way. Instead of coming down and round here, that definitely seems longer. I don't, I think I used my ladder. Just climbing anchors. Hello, zipline. Whoa. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, so... Oh, my goodness. I can see all the things. What if I go this way, right? How does this look? Um, yeah, this song's very nice. I notice that we have, oh, that wasn't too bad. Um, we have a new follow. So um, let's say hello and welcome to Terry the Tactical Unicorn. I hope you're fully tooled up. Good to have you on board. Thanks for checking out the channel today. Right. If I go around here, we can pretty much get onto the roof. Right. There we go. See, we're doing good. That was uh, so pretty good. Okay. Um, this ladder will cause an issue, right? So let's just move everything onto the back. What? 
Right, here we go. Let's pick all this up. Dump, 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 all on the back. It's going to be a bit of an issue, but we don't have long to go. Let's turn the uh, game sound back up for everybody. Boom, boom. There we are. Hi, Terry. How are you doing? Are you someone who has played a lot of uh, Death Stranding or someone who just enjoys watching? I'll tell you what I probably should do before I make the delivery and that's just give everything a cheeky spray, right? Um, let's come back out. This is against the clock though, that is an issue. Um, where's the carrier? There you are. Carrier. Offload. Rare fish. Rare fish. That stuff is getting delivered. We'll hand that in two. Load onto carrier. And thanks. Um, that should be enough. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you go. Attach. Deliver. Ah! Don't punch things. Come over here. Um. Uh, Terry has just started their first playthrough, but has seen bits and pieces. Okay, here we go. Requested cargo is. Standard order 376. There's a rare fossil as well we can drop in. Very nice. Probably won't get S for this. I'll take A. It's one I can redo when there's a zipline network going on. Let's find out how, uh, how well that was. That, that, that didn't actually take too long. Oh, might even get five stars here. Fingers crossed. That'll be an eight. So yeah, under five minutes would have done it. Could almost do five minutes on foot. Bleep bloop. B! Still five stars, so that makes it worthwhile. I'll... I'll take... I'll take the hit on, on the score in exchange for that five stars there. It's, it's all about collecting five stars. Whoa, lightning blue. Have a rare fossil. You could put it in one of your little glass cases. It'll be amazing. Bit of delivery time. That all in, and what do we end up with? Hey, Porter Gray, two seven nine. Cargo address to Porter, awaiting collection. It's a thigh star. <gasps> I'm on the third row now. Third row, Sam. They call me. What? Thank you for your continued support. Uh, cheers. Good work. Thanks. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further. Yeah, loads of stuff. Do we do this now? Or do we save this until Tuesday? Let's save this till Tuesday. There you go. Have, have, a, have a little rest there, Sam. So, slightly shorter than... Uh, than we would usually do on a Sunday. That's the way it goes sometimes. Um, Sam there just uh, massaging his shoulders and, and, and stretching his legs. And uh, I do need to just check my posture. I'm not too bad today. I don't think I've hunched forward too much on, on, on the desk. 
I'm going to try to sit upright as I can. Thanks, Astral, for the uh, engage mint redeem. Um, that'll do it for today. As I said, a late start, a shorter session, a lot on my mind at the moment. Some things, uh, some things off stream I really need to get my teeth into and sort out so it's not going to hover over me like a BT for the rest of my life. Um, but there is a big week coming up on the channel. A big week coming up. Um, you alright there, Sam? You should probably have a sleep if you can do that. Yeah, a big week coming up on the channel. We've got a lot happening. So it runs a little bit like this. On Tuesday, as standard, we'll be playing Death Stranding yet again from 6.30pm UK time. Then we've got a Formula One 2020 double bill on Wednesday and Thursday from 6.30pm UK time where we will complete the F1 2020 driver career and then that game is done. Fingers crossed, third in the driver's standings, third in the constructor's standings, and it will all be gravy. So that'll be Wednesday and Thursday. And then, because we have now exceeded the 150 follower goal, um, with thanks to my bushy eyebrows from a couple of days ago, and Terry, of course, the tactical unicorn, who's today's follow, who's even pushed us even further over that limit, um, I'm going to be back on Saturday as well um, for um, for a little laid back stream, probably some house flipper, I think. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind closer to the time. Um, so there's actually quite a bit coming up this week, kind of some bonus stuff, out of the ordinary stuff coming up. So um, hopefully something in there will be of interest to you. But we'll have a chat with Hartman next time we play Death Stranding. It'll be this Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. UK time. Got quite a bit of story stuff today um, all taken care of. Maybe uh, maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll get uh, a big, um, big story dump when we speak to uh, Hartman uh, coming up on Tuesday. Um, so that's the next time, Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. UK time. Come and join me for more Death Stranding then.